Hi folks, today I'm going to read um, Ezra chapter 3, Rebuilding the Altar. When the seventh month came and the Israelites had settled in their towns, the people assembled together as one in Jerusalem. And Joshua, son of Joazak, Dak, and his fellow priests, and Zerubbabel, son of Sheltiel, and his associates began to build the altar of the God of Israel to sacrifice burnt offerings on it. In accordance with what is written in the law of Moses, the man of God, despite the fear of the peoples around them, they built the altar <coughs> on its foundation and sacrificed burnt offerings on it to the Lord, both the morning and evening sacrifices. When in accordance with what is written, they celebrated the festival of tabernacles with the required number of burnt offerings prescribed for each day. After that, they presented their regular burnt offerings, the new moon sacrifices, and the sacrifices for all the appointed sacred festivals of the Lord, as well as those brought as freewill offerings to the Lord. On the first day of the seventh month, they began to offer burnt offerings to the Lord through the foundation of the Lord's temple, although the foundation of the Lord's temple had not yet been laid. Rebuilding the temple. Then they gave money to the masons and carpenters and gave food and drink to olive oil and olive oil to the people of Sidon and Tyre so that they would bring cedar logs by sea from Lebanon to Joppa as authorised by Sirius, king of Persia. In the second month of the second year, after their arrival in the house of God in Jerusalem, Zerubbabel, son of Shelatel, Joshua, son of Zozerak, and the rest of the people, the priests, the Levites, and all who had Return from the captivity to Jerusalem began the work. They appointed Levites 20 years old and other and older to supervise the building of the house of the Lord. Joshua and his sons and brothers and Cadmiel and his sons, descendants of Hodbeda and the <coughs> sons of Hinadad and their sons and brothers, all Levites, joined together in supervising those working on the house of God. When the builders laid the foundation of the temple of the Lord, the priests in their vestments and with trumpets and their Levites, um, the sons of Asfa, with symbols took their places to praise the Lord, as prescribed by David, king of Israel. With praise and thanksgiving they sang to the Lord, He is good, His love toward Israel endures forever. And all the people gave a great shout of praise to the Lord, because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. But many of the older priests and Levites and family heads who had seen the former temple wept aloud when they saw their foundation of this temple being laid. While many others shouted for joy, no one could distinguish the, shout, the sound of the shouts of joy from the sound of the weeping because the people made so much noise. And the sound was heard far away. So that was Ezra chapter 3 from 1 through to 13. And um, yeah, I'm down here at the beach.
Yeah, it's right on dusk. It's just going um, six, six o'clock in the evening. Yeah. And uh, Friday the 6th of May. There's a uh, put Kimbler out that way.